In this new video, we'll be checking out the new GoPro Hero 4 Silver and Black Update version 3.0. So, this is going to be a really cool video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And I uh, hope you like it. So first we're going to unlock this sucker. And as we know, this is an advanced feature when you double top it, uh, just the uh, point of view zooms it in or zooms it out. So now new video player when you check your videos out, that's really cool. And new trim features and ISO levels and all kinds of bug fixes we'll be showing you and a couple new cool things. So the first one we're going to check out is look on the right side of the LCD and you'll see this cute little cursor that is really cool. It shows how far you are up the chart or not chart screen or how low you are. So when you slide that menu up from the right, it's not a full bar, it fades. As you can see the bottom one does the same thing. It fades in so that's really cool. So when you go photo and all, slide it out, that's really cool. Slide that menu up. So as we know, time lapse video came out with version 2.0, and it still sticks with 3.0, so it's really cool. They fixed a couple of bugs with this uh, GoPro says, and you still have your choice of intervals and resolution 4K and 2.7K at 30 frames per second, so 16 by 9 and 4 by 30 for 2.7K. So let's go back to video. And standard resolution is 1080p and you still see that little cursor on the right that is on all the menus now and it's not slow it doesn't lag it or anything so when you're doing uh, default is now 1080p and it used to be 1080p super view above 1080p but now it's 1080p and then it's 1080p super view and standard frames per second is 60 and low light on and protein this is where they added a couple new features and I got hiccups so, so color still kept those two choices GoPro color and GoPro flat now the new one is the ISO limits standard is 1600 the new one is 32 and 800 so we'll look through all the ISOs so the highest is 6400 like the Canon T5 and then 32 is a three quarters new one and 1600 is middle and 800 lower and 400 is the lowest so as you know that's really cool they added new ones and now it's almost like a DSLR all the ISO limits match up with my uh, Canon T5 I have here I'm filming with and then sharpness you still have your cool three choices now when you reset protein it will completely reset all those settings to protein so that's just another one so uh, let's go to night lapse. So you have night lapse, you have time lapse, and you have first. So as we know, first when they added a new one was 30 frames in six seconds. That came out when version 2.0 came out, and they kept it 3.0. So let's go back to video and uh, like tap it once. It makes all the icons go away. So this is really cool. When you tap on it, look on the right and the left and the bottom of your screen. You'll see on the right side, you'll have uh, your video choices. On the bottom, you'll have the tools. And then on the left, you'll have playback. I wish they stayed the same, they didn't go back to arrows. Hopefully they change that when they release version 4.0. So that's really cool. So we're gonna slide out from the right and we're gonna go to settings. And touch display, couple of well, wireless, they fix some bugs as bugs for wireless capabilities. Now it's said that you can live stream your GoPro Hero 4 and your Hero 3 Plus. So though that's really cool. GoPro has joined a couple of companies to live stream GoPros now. Just as we know we have HeroCast and that's about ten thousand dollars for those devices and touch display they keep all those standard settings and if you see on the right you still have that cursor oh and when you click power 
gives you this cute little menu warning you you're gonna lose your screen so use the front screen now and just click the shutter to turn it back on and it's that A to Z so that's really cool that they warn you you still have your brightness choices it's really cool in orientation they added auto when version 2.0 came out and now it's still with 3.0 in default video this is when you use quick capture so quick capture is when uh, it will, you just click the shutter button and it just starts recording. So we're going to show you that in a second. Just click that shutter button. And quick capture is not for everybody, okay? If you don't like quick capture, it's alright. Not many people do. But it's really cool. So on the menu, they're auto off. They added a couple new things couple new times and their menus for setting your hours and time dates are still pretty cool like almost like what the iPhone has and language this is new now you can change it to Chinese make sure you be careful it's gonna be hard getting it back to English so that's new on the menu for settings hopefully they add more languages like Spanish and stuff for people so we'll see when they release the 4.0 and hopefully they do and lots of people have been waiting for this 3.0 so now we're going to play back our video and we're going to go to the menu and there's a new video player now it's really cool it's real smooth and they added a couple new things when you play back your videos we're going to go back and we're going to pause this video and we're going to click this new one called trim. Oh wait, no, let's do playback. So playback is different now and then you have simple slide as you want. So they've made those a little cool. So you can click the little arrows or you can just slide it if you want to. But this little scissors on the bottom, the trimming, this is a new one. So you can trim your videos to where you want it to be. Almost like a cell phone or what the DSLRs have, you can edit your videos on the go if you're gonna post it through online or you just wanna get a still image, you can do that too. So on still images, uh, that's really cool. So let's pick a frame. You can pick frame by frame if you want. And I like that right there. And then click save. Okay, the photo is alright, but it's not that good, but it's still pretty cool for the Hero 4. So, now it saves, and you have different choices too, you don't have to do still images, so that's really cool. So we're gonna, you have 5 seconds if you want to, and you can choose what 5 seconds you want, and I'll make a video showing how to figure out this editing. So it's a little complicating, but it's not that hard. You'll figure it out and save that video. So it was that was pretty quick. I did not speed up this video or even slow it down. That was just by itself. Now when you go back to the menu, it has that photo you clipped out and that five second video you clipped out. So that's really cool, so as you can see. So here's the video. It's not that bad. It's pretty good. So They've enlarged the screen for you, so it used to be three in a row, now it's two in a row, and they're much larger, so they used to be small, like select and exit button, and they're much larger than this, so that's really nice. So, hmm, what else? Man, there's so much. Oh yeah, and you still have that little cursor over here on the right, like I said, it's going to be on all of, the, all of the menus. It's kind of hard to see, I did a lot of dark photos and videos in the last couple of days. But it's a little black cursor. Let's exit this. Go back to video. So in this little video, I'll just show you how... It's just a little test video right now we're doing. And then I'll show you the new Some cool stuff on the... Uh, Edits. Okay. Now we're gonna slide from the right to the playback. Or, no, playback. There we go. So we're gonna click that video I just did for a second, 28 seconds. So, as I said, you have the new editing features. 
And uh, this is kind of cool. You still have, you can slow down through the video if you want to. So that's really nice when you're doing high frame rate videos. You want to slow it down. And while it's slowing down, you can still control the volume. This thing does not lag. It still is going really smooth. That's a big improvement sometimes. It would freeze up on you, as you can see. I've done a couple videos. You can see on the top right if you're on your phone or your computer. So the new trimming app, you, like I said, you have your choices to edit it. And there's five seconds, 15 seconds, and 30 seconds in still. So when you delete, it's much easier to see what you're deleting now. And you can see, still got the little cursor to the right. So we're gonna delete those. And warning, when you delete these, you can't pull them back, they're gone. So that's really cool. So let's go to burst, slide that up. And all the stuff for photos, they've kept the same as you see. It still has that cursor on all the menus. Yeah, every menu you see, it's going to have that cursor. And it's smooth, it, it does not lag. So you still have burst, time lapse, and night lapse. So you can slide down, menu will go away. Or you can click the exit button. Slide back, we're going to go to photo. And we'll be check out some of these cool new things with um, night photo. When you do a night photo or night lapse, the shutter button, and you click that shutter button on version 1, it didn't show anything, it was just a black screen. Version 2, they did this cool spinning wheel. On version 3, they did an even nicer, cooler wheel, but I wish I kept version 2. But hey, you, they have to change some things, it would lag sometimes. So let's go to 30 seconds and show the full thing. So click that shutter. I'm going to speed this up, you don't have to sit through the whole 30 seconds as you can see. So it tells you shutter is open, so that's really cool. So those were some cool night lapse photos from, uh, you've seen. So right now I'm doing quick capture. I just click the shutter button and it turns on and it starts recording. So it's recording on its own. Just push the shutter button. So that's really cool. So you can check out that video on how to do quick capture. And, oops. and when you're on quick capture, you still have control of the LCD screen. But when you hit that shutter button, it turns itself right off. And the new Hero 4 sessions have that. And all of these new features are still with the Hero 4 Black. So that's really cool. And yeah, this is a really cool new update. And another cool thing, let's show this. Oh yeah, this is another cool thing. When you're on the lock screen, now it rotates. The lock screen does. It used to. Not it used to not to, but now it does. So that's really cool. It does that now. And then as you can see, it still has the auto rotate unlocked. And yeah, that's really cool that the Hero 4 Silver and Black do that now, including the Hero 4 Session. As you can see, the simple double tap feature still does that. And the menus have been changed and a lot. And that's all I have to say. If you have any comments or questions, comment below and make sure to subscribe and like this video and thanks for watching.